violin tutor. Today is a very very quick video on pizzicato or pits or plucking on the strings of the violin. Um, so I'm just literally hoping to do this video in under a couple of minutes really. So there isn't an awful lot to say but um, just in case you're wondering what pizzicato is and exactly how to do it. So I get a lot of people saying how exactly do you do it, how do you hold the bow, where do you put your fingers, all that kind of stuff. So I'll hopefully explain all of that in the video today. Um, so pizzicato is a method of plucking the string with one finger as, as opposed to just using the bow. Um, it, it tends to produce a very different tone, somewhat short and maybe percussive uh, sounding. Uh, so very simply, it's just a case of plucking the string instead of just using using the bow to, to play on the string. So there are two ways of plucking. One where you're actually holding the bow and all you're using is just the index finger. So you're just extending out your index finger you'll probably need to tilt the bow, sort of, um, sort of the, the hair of the bow, instead of it being flat on the string, you'll need to sort of push the hair of the bow uh, towards you, so it, it's here, it's just so you can tilt the hand round enough to pluck. So that's one way of doing it. Um, another way of doing it is by actually holding the bow and having a much better kind of grip with your finger and your thumb for pizzicato. You would hold your bow in your hand and pluck this way, which isn't so easy to do as, as holding the bow, but you would do it this way if you literally did not have time in the music. Whatever the music said, if you had to put in a, a quick pizzicato section, you didn't have time to hold the bow, pits, and then put the, put the bow back in your hand again. I mean, that, in a, that is an art just in itself anyway, um, but I'll show you how I'm doing that just in just a second. So you would just um, extend your index finger out, hold the bow with the other three fingers and thumb and proceed to pluck on the strings and you would do that like I say if, if you just if you can't grip the bow quickly enough. Um, that's not ideal to do because it's, it's not quite as strong because you haven't got your thumb to help you balance anywhere um, but only for, for speed really. The other way of doing it is if you're actually holding the bow and you're gripping your bow and you've got your thumb against the fingerboard and you're plucking the string that way that's the more ideal way of doing it and you can only do that if you've got the time. So what I've done, if imagine if I'm holding the bow like this and I'm, I'm playing away and then all I would do is just grip the bow very quickly between these three fingers in the palm of my hand. So I'm leaving my thumb and my index finger free. That's very, very important. So you need to practice gripping it. So I'm only, in, in a way, I'm only actually gripping the frog. If you can see, I've only got the, the frog part in my hand. I'm only gripping this part here. And then all I'm gonna do is rest my thumb on the side of the bridge, not kind of on that corner bit, but just, just slightly above that. And then I'm in the optimum, permit, optimum position to pluck. So I've got my go in the hand, resting my thumb against there, and I can easily pluck here. So I might be bowing away, just like this. If I get around the other side of the camera, I might be bowing away on the strings, and all of a sudden I can just grip with these two spare, the thumb and the index and bow away there and, and be able to pluck away there. So you need to perhaps just practice doing this and then this and then this and this. So you're gripping the bow ready to play and then you're holding it ready to pluck. Grip, pluck, grip, pluck, grip, pluck. So that's actually quite a difficult movement to do. A lot of people kind of struggle to do that, but I would say you practice doing that. So gripping and you're plucking. So you're, you're playing away. <laughs> gripping and you're plucking away there. So that's basically pizzicato, so I hope that's that's explained it to you. Those are the two ways of doing it, either just by actually holding the bow and plucking the string, or holding the bow in, in its normal bow position and being able to pluck the string that way, or actually fully gripping the bow when you've got a lot more time in the music to enable you to do that, and then you've got a lot more control on the pizzicato, especially if you've got some kind of... you've got some um, long pizzicato passages there. So there's two ways of pizzicato. That's it, nothing really else to mention. Um, hope that's helped anyone. Subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below if you want to, um, and join me next time.